So first of all, I would like to introduce myself. My full name is Antonia Teva, but people somehow call me Ani. Uh, so I'm going to give you a simulation on IELTS speaking today. May I know your name, please? Okay, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Kartini. You can call me Kartini. May I know why do you want to take IELTS preparation class? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, I want to prepare. Uh, so what is it for? What is it for? Oh, what is it? What is it for? Yes. Okay. Mm, yeah, I just want to take test. I want to test my ability in, on English, especially uh, on IELTS. And then if I have a good score, if I have a chance to continue for first week, if I can. So <laughs> yeah. Where do you want to continue yeah. your study? Yeah, I don't know exactly, but I want to choose maybe in Australia or in America. What major would you like to take? I want to choose uh, public policy because I am a servant. I want to improve my ability about managing people or managing staffing in my office, especially in my office and especially in our regency in Humangasuntang uh, region, North Sumatra. Have you taken any IELTS preparation course? before mm, not yet or have you taken any IELTS test previously uh I have taken TOEFL test but mm -hmm. else I have never taken I before so how did you feel about taking the TOEFL uh, test I think it is more difficult than TOEFL test I have I have uh, taken IELTS test by myself, not uh, in the real in the real test, but maybe just for listening part or uh, reading part, uh, something mm -hmm. like that. How was mm -hmm. it? The reading part and the listening part? Yeah, I have taken. I got a uh, six point five, but mm -hmm. because I don't use the real time so I can correct my answer but I get a 6.5 uh, mm -hmm. maybe uh, five years or two years ago I forgot yeah but okay. I never take an IELTS again so uh, no. today uh, I'm going to give you a simulation on IELTS speaking mm -hmm. okay uh, do you know something about IELTS speaking section Yeah, because I never take, I have, I have not taken uh, the IELTS speaking test, so I don't know exactly the uh, questions, one question, and then we can <clears throat> give uh, some reason or yeah, many things, but the real test I have never taken before okay so i'm going to give you a quick review about what will happen in ielts speaking section so ielts speaking section it will take you 11 to 14 minutes to complete mm -hmm. um there will be three parts given in ielts speaking section so the first part the examiner is going to take your time four to five minutes and then he or she is going to ask you some general questions about yourself while for the second part, the examiner is going to give you a task card with a particular topic written in it. And then he or she is going to give you one minute to prepare before speaking about the topic for one up to two minutes. And then if it is possible, the examiner is going to ask you two, one up to two follow-up questions. And then for the last part, uh, the examiner is going to ask you some questions. The topic will be related to the topic given in part two. So part three will be like a discussion between you and the examiner. Any questions so far? Mm, so uh, the examiner will give me one question and I will prepare for one minute. 
That one is for part two. While for part one and part three, after the examiner finish the question, you will need to answer it directly. There will be no preparation time. So the preparation time given will only be in part two. And so in part one? So in part one, the examiner is going to ask you some questions about yourself, and then you have to answer it directly. Mm. The same as part three. In, and in part three? In part three, the examiner is going to give you some questions, and then after that, you have to answer it directly. There will be no preparation time. But okay. the topic will be related to the topic given in part two. Yeah, I see. I see. Okay. I see. So these are the do and don'ts in IELTS speaking section. So the first one, uh, you have to be aware with the question type because if you are not aware or you are not careful with the uh, question, you will end up giving irrelevant answer to the question. So giving irrelevant answer to the question will hold down your band score. And then the second one, do not give just one or two word answer. You have to answer the question and give added information. So for example, the question given, do you have any plan to go to university? And then you have to answer it yes for sure. I would like to major in mechanical engineering. So this is the example. You should not on you should not answer only by saying yes I do or no I don't. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to ask you the same question then. Do you have any plans to go to university? <coughs> yes, I do. I would like to continue my study for master in Australia University. Okay, Maybe next one. Mm -hmm. uh, good answer, contain main answer, and also supporting ideas. So for example here, do you like uh, swimming? And then you answer it, I love swimming because it is so relaxing. Besides, it helps me be in shape. So the main idea here is I love swimming. And then the supporting idea here is that uh, it's so relaxing and then it helps me be in shape. <laughs> So to help you with it, you may use two linking words here. The first one is because, the second one is besides. Any questions so far? Uh, if I want to answer these questions, I don't like swimming. How can I say it in English? So you could say it this way. I love swimming because it is so relaxing. Besides, it helped me be in shape. No, no, I, I want to answer that I don't like swimming. Oh, that's fine. So you could uh, answer that you do not like and then uh, tell the reason why don't you like it. Yeah, because I, I cannot I cannot swim and <laughs> I don't like, okay. like swimming well in the pool. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to ask you the question then. Do you like swimming? No like swimming because I cannot swim um, many times when I was in a uh, senior high school I have a swimming course but until now I cannot swim I don't know why and I don't like uh, swim in a pool and I can breathe I can I can breathe in in a pool so I cannot swim so I don't like swim okay these are another one. So if you cannot think of a word, you need to paraphrase it. So for example, you are about to say, he is a reliable person. But then by the time you forget the word reliable, so you could paraphrase it into, he is a short of a person you can always depend on. Any question for this? Mm, what does it mean, paraphrase it? Paraphrasing means uh, you could change the word by mentioning the synonym, or it means that you do not repeat it. Mm, but I use uh, another... Yes, another uh, phrase or another word. Another word, yeah. And then uh, you have to listen carefully to the questions and then answer the question to the point. Do not go around the bus. So here, if you would like to buy the time for thinking about the answer, instead of saying hmm or hmm, it 
will be better if you put thumb up saying, that is an interesting question. Let me think about it. Or you could say, so let me see. Any questions so far? Mm, so I cannot, uh, it's better for me to say another word. Yes, that's okay. true. To change mm, when I want to think, think about the word that I want to say. Any question then? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No question. Okay, Maybe, since, but mm -hmm. I can. Okay, since you have no question, let us go for practice. Okay. Let us go for part one. So I'm going to be the uh, examiner and then you are going to be the candidate. Let us talk about your school. Did you go to high school near where you live? High school. Uh, I went. I went to the high school. Not. It's not near where I live because I think it's not too closer because I have to. I have to ride the general vehicle to reach my high school when I was in a high school. What did you like about your high school? I like my high school because I always get a first until three, three, what's that? Three rank. I get a uh, one until uh, between one and three rank in my class. So my teacher, many teacher of me, many teacher of mine when I was in uh, senior high school uh, know me uh, personally, and I enjoy my class when I was in a senior high school. Tell me about anything you didn't like at your school. I didn't like. I didn't like when my friends, my boy, my boyfriend, no, my boyfriend, my boy's friend in my class, uh, want to treat me and give me my the the love letter. When I was in the senior high school, because I don't like him. Okay, very he, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. To make me love it fall with him. Okay, I can. <laughs> so How I don't like that situation. <laughs> How do you think your school could be improved? How do you think your school could be improved? I don't know what, what does it mean. How do you think How your do... school could be improved? So what, what can your school do to be improved? To improve my ability? School. My... The, the school, the school. Oh, bagaimana saya meningkatkan sekolah saya begitu? Yes, or uh, how can your school be improved? So it means that uh, how can your school itself be improved? I think uh, my school could be improved by by learning English. I think we should uh, make English as a daily language. So our English will be better when I was in, in the school. So I think uh, English day can can we take in our daily daily life in my school i think uh, the school could be improved okay in that is the end of part one let us move on to part two i'm going to give you one minute to prepare and then one up to two minutes to talk
One minute to prepare. You may start now. <clears throat> so the things can be a dreams or yes, or something that's fine. Like, like car maybe. Yes. Uh, is is the real things not not a dream maybe uh you could go with both that's fine okay I'm going to stop you there for the preparation time. Let us go for the talk. One up to two minutes. You may start now. Okay. Uh, what these things is? I really like to to own my English course. Yeah, yeah, my, my, myself, my English course, uh, one day, uh, because how long you want, I want to have it for, after I graduated uh, for master, maybe uh, one, until five hour five years from now where you first saw it oh uh, i never i never saw that english course but i have imagined one day i will have my english course and i will give the name is card cartini's english course <laughs> maybe and explain why you would like to, and I would like to own it because um, when I learn English, it's difficult for me. I've never, I haven't uh, had learned, I have, I have never got English course before, but I want to continue my study based scholarship and I want to uh, make a uh, Mm, one English course by myself, and I want to share how my experience, how can I strike? I'm going to stop you there for the talk. Yeah, and share with other by this course. Okay, let us go for part three then. What types of things do young people in your country most want to have today? What types of things? <clears throat> Maybe uh, many young people um, want to want to have uh, I don't know. I can I cannot describe <laughs> what type of things that young people want to have. Let us go for the second question then. Why do some Wait. people why do some people feel they need to own things? Oh, exactly. For uh, I cannot uh, describe what things, but maybe uh, the young people nowadays they want to have their own car, maybe they, their own iPhone. For this time because many young people like to open the social media like instagram and they will feel it's better if they have uh, iphone do you think Me. that owning a lot of things makes people happy mm, not at all i think if you have lots of people that makes us happy 
why because uh, when I when I am as a rich people maybe I don't feel happy because I will feel feared how can my tracer will be will be taken by the thief someday yeah so maybe sometimes I don't feel happy but I think that will that I that makes me happy. Just feel grateful for what you have. Okay, very good. So far, do you have any questions? Uh, I want to ask you. Uh, how can I improve my IELTS? So there are some things that you need to do to improve your IELTS. The first one mm -hmm. is that um. You have to be familiar with the IELTS speaking, uh, with the IELTS, not only speaking, but IELTS uh, in all. I mean, like speaking, reading, listening, and writing test five, and also their format and strategy so that you could improve your score. That is the first one. But for speaking itself, you have to do a lot of practice. Yes. Because you need to improve your uh, vocabulary, grammar, and then fluency, and also um, pronunciation. Those four are the criteria of IELTS speaking. So uh, that will be uh, beneficial for you. Okay. Yeah, how can I improve my pronunciation? Because uh, my environment, we cannot speak English. So the yeah. idea? <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's difficult for me, yeah, because uh, my friends cannot speak English and then I don't have friends to, to talk with, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, it, this is the obstacles that I have faced. Mm -hmm. How can I get through this problem? So, for pronunciation, the idea is that if it is too difficult for you to find out the part that you speak, and then you could go uh, by imitating the things that you watch. Mm. So, for example, you watch a movie and then you could like imitating the pronunciation of them. Mm, I, I repeat what they said. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because uh, besides that, it will be it also will be beneficial for your listening. Because like uh, if you listen to them uh, repeatedly, and then uh, it will like make you adjust to their um, accent. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you still have questions? Okay. Thank you for your suggestion. Maybe just practice. Yeah. <laughs> the answer is practice. Practice and be familiar with the test type. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. How can I take uh, by myself this speaking IELTS test? Can I? Can um, I? What myself? do you mean by speaking by yourself? Mm, I mean, um, there is some uh, URL or link that mm -hmm. I can open. I can take the speaking test like this. Uh, so sometimes in the internet, the URL provided is only like the question given and then you can practice by yourself. But to find out like the uh, speaking partner, you could go to find out the URL that provided to like uh, any kind of uh, speaking mock test so that you could know your score. Uh, what's the name of the URL? Uh, that, could, that, mm -hmm. that gives me the or that gives me the, the score. Uh, we do have it. If you would like to have uh, the mock test, the free mock, uh, the, not the free mock test, but I mean like the mock test to know your score. And then you could um, go talking with the admin because we have like the mock test. Hmm. Okay. Do you still have any questions? Hmm. Yeah, I just want how can I, uh, yeah, I have uh, some materials of mm -hmm. IELTS from Cambridge, but I think it's not useful. So you could find out the partner then? 
the speaking partner so that uh, you could practice your speaking. And then he also could definitely like give you feedback. I don't have speaking partner or the people who wants to take IELTS test. I don't have, so it's difficult for me. Yeah. <laughs> so do you have to have question then? I think no more question, just practice. Maybe. Okay, since you have no more question, thank you for joining today. Thank you, sis.